Today, I'm excited to delve into a topic that has been creating quite a buzz in the financial world, the intricate dance between short sellers and the companies they target. In particular, we'll explore the latest developments in the ongoing saga involving short sellers attempting to repurchase synthetic shares to extricate themselves from their questionable short positions. Moreover, we'll examine the mounting challenges faced by these short sellers, suggesting that a potential squeeze might be just around the corner. Hey, welcome to a MC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. Let's kick things off with a revelation straight from the trenches, courtesy of NextBridge Hydrocarbons. Their recent email sheds light on the persistent attempts by short sellers to buy back synthetics directly from NextBridge. Despite a year passing since the U3 halt, crucial details remain elusive. FINRA investigation revealed an approximate aggregate short interest position in MMTLP of 265 million shares as of December 2023. However, what raises eyebrows is that representatives of short sellers have approached NextBridge, expressing an interest in purchasing significantly more shares than the reported 265 million. This disjunction between public figures and private dealings raises questions about transparency in the market. Now, skepticism is only natural. How can we be certain that NextBridge is not manipulating information, and how do we verify the authenticity of these short seller representatives? Dave Lauer, providing a voice of reason, emphasized the significance of transparency in such matters. He echoed the sentiment that if true regulators such as the SEC and the Department of Justice should intervene, Lauer confidence in the legitimacy of NextBridge claims adds weight to the argument, emphasizing the need for evidence and subsequent enforcement actions. Corporate leaders, as we know, cannot make baseless accusations without repercussions. This is exemplified in the cautious stance taken by Adam Aaron, CEO of a major company. Aaron has refrained from delving into the realm of synthetic shares, recognizing the importance of concrete proof. Unlike Aaron, NextBridge seems to possess compelling evidence, not only in the form of figures from FINRA, but also through email exchanges with short sellers attempting to repurchase shares. This evidence, if genuine, marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing battle against short sellers. Shifting gears, let's explore why the shorts may find themselves in deep waters, hinting at an imminent squeeze. Stonks Batman, a notable figure in the financial world, recently highlighted the issue of failed to deliver FTD shares for MC. FTDS reached an all-time high of around 50 million in August and September 2023. While subsequent FTD figures appeared smaller, a closer look at hidden FTD data from December revealed a new all-time high of 5-4 million post reverse split, surpassing previous records. This discrepancy suggests that FTDs continued to plague the market, debunking any notion that the shorts have successfully covered their positions. Adding fuel to the fire, the shorts faced substantial losses in 2023, with an estimated $11 billion lost in shorting NVIDIA and even more in other major tech stocks. Recent surges in NVIDIA and AMD stock prices, soaring 27% to 28% in just two and a half weeks, imply further losses for short sellers. These developments underscore the challenges the shorts are currently grappling with. A global perspective brings another layer to the narrative. China's largest brokerage, Citic Securities, recently imposed a blanket ban on short selling for select clients. This move mirrors similar bans in South Korea and India. With China's stock market down nearly 25% from its recent high, the trend of countries prohibiting short selling raises eyebrows. If this trend continues with the UK and Europe potentially following suit, the United States may be compelled to consider a similar ban, setting the stage for a potential squeeze. In a noteworthy tweet, the Kobisi letter shed light on China's stringent measures, including the suspension of short selling by brokerage firms for both retail investors and institutions. The significance of this lies in the fact that short selling is not just limited for individual retail investors. Even institutions face restrictions. This broader ban on short selling, if replicated globally, could be a catalyst for a seismic shift in the market dynamics. Shifting our focus, let's address a prevalent narrative surrounding Adam Aaron's role in the AMC saga. Despite facing constant criticism, Aaron's decisions have been crucial in steering AMC away from the brink of bankruptcy. Contrary to baseless accusations, Aaron turned down a staggering $1 billion offer from Apollo to let AMC go bankrupt in 2021. 
This decision, which went against the advice of many CEOs, showcases Aaron's commitment to a MC survival. Had Aaron been collaborating with short sellers, he could have chosen an easier path, accepting the billion-dollar lifeline and letting AMC crumble. Instead, AMC not only survived but thrived, breaking revenue, profit, and cash flow records. In conclusion, the intertwining narratives of short sellers attempting to repurchase synthetic shares and the mounting challenges they face paint a compelling picture. The convergence of global restrictions on short selling, persistent FTD issues, and the resilience of companies like AMC under visionary leadership adds layers of complexity to this financial saga. As we navigate these developments, the possibility of an impending squeeze looms large, promising a shift in the financial landscape that could be just weeks away. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the intricacies of this captivating financial drama. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.